Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So if you're on my Facebook page and you follow me regularly there, you would have seen that a couple of weeks ago I finally got the chance to go to head office. I hadn't been there since I first went there when I went to sign my contract and everything to be a co-brander. Then because of the pandemic here, I never got to go there again. Therefore, I never have met any of my fellow co-branders. So the wonderful Helen, Christina, Card Making Magic, Daisy May, who you know I love, and many, many other people, all the people behind the scenes as well. So we finally all got together. Um, Lou as well, can't forget Lou. And we were all together, just had a lovely day and um, we got new photos taken, which is wonderful. So they'll be shared in due course. And we all got given a goodie bag or goodie box. Um, now, because I get the train up, because it's easier for me to get the train, this was posted to me. So I received this the other day and it we were talking about Creative Craft products. So Creative Craft products is craft stash own brand so like made to surprise card making magic daisy may designs they're all the co-branders that sit under craft stash and then you've got creative craft products which is like the basics range and there's wonderful tools there and basically they sent us them all to just enjoy try test review give feedback use if we want to you know there was no obligation you know we've all got our things that we love and and my boss was saying you know if you don't like it it's fine but you know give it a go let us know what you think so We've all been given a selection. I'm not sure if we've all got the same. So if the other co-branders, you see them sharing maybe similar videos, you might see some bits different. But there's a lot of basic bits here, which is you'll probably recognise some of them because I do actually use them anyway. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about it, show you these things because you may be wanting to, you know, find somewhere that can become a new little go to for your adhesives or, you know, for nesting dyes and things like that. So I have quite a bit to share. Now, I was given all of this, but it's more to just give you a, just a little insight into what Creative Craft Products Craft Stash offers. And then you can go and have a little look. I will link everything below so you can, you know, check out the prices and, and things like that. And then, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. So I'm going to take this all off the desk and then we'll go through everything one by one. So first of all, I'll start off with the foam adhesives. Now I have already shared these on the channel a couple of weeks ago. So for some of you, you would have already seen this, but they have started doing these adhesive white foam sheets. You get three in a pack. You've got white and then you've got black. You see on the side there. And I've already started using these in um, when I do my Facebook Lives. They're wonderful when you wanna add dimension to any die cuts. I like to use them when I have my sentiment words so I will die cut the word in the foam, then die cut it in whatever the cardstock is I'm using. You peel off the top, you can stick your die cut on there and then you peel off the bottom and then you can stick it onto your card. And it's perfect for the intricate kind of dies and if you want to stick onto acetate and all that kind of stuff. So you get three in the pack and they are A5 size. Then you've got, it just kind of then drops down in size. So then you've got your two mil, these are all two mil thick by the way, and these are 24 um, which is 2.4 centimetres squared foam squares. So you just your pads for, again, adding dimension. Got your black, you've got the white there, and you get 120 squares in that size. And you've got the next size down, so these are your 12 mil by 12 mil. You get 240 squares there. And again, you get the white and the black. And then finally, you've got your 5 mil by 5 mil. These are great for if you're doing decoupage you get 1,320 squares. And again, you've got the white and the black to choose from there. So that's the foam adhesives. And they sent us a couple of packs here of printable vinyl sheets. So these are great for if you like to make your own label stickers. If you, maybe you stick them on the back of your cards that you make and you, you know, donate them for charities, you sell them in shops, things like that. You might want to, you know, have your logo on this, but it's also great to use with your die cuts and then you can colour it yourself as well. You can use them then stick them on, you know, your windows, car windows. You can do all sorts with the printable vinyl. So you get a pack of 20 and it's A4. So you'll see that in due course in um, videos because I think it's going to work really well again to stick on top of acetate. So you can create some really nice shaker cards and stuff with this. Then I've got the Universal Foam Shim. Now I've already been using this for some months actually. It's it's already in my die machine and you can cut these down as well. So I've got some for my smaller desk machine as well. So you get two in a pack and it's a foam 
shim which will eventually it kind of it will go in quite padded and then the more you use it it will compact itself down and it just saves you having to cut up bits of cardstock and you know scrap pieces of card and stuff you can just keep this you know with your dies and like I said two and a pack is going to last you quite a while and I'm really enjoying using those as well so Although don't do what I did and stick them on top of any kind of mediums, uh, <laughs> anything that can grab. It's like hook and loop because it went all over my stenciled clouds and they turned into hairy clouds and it was quite a funny lie. So yeah, just a little tip there. Don't do that. <laughs> and then I've got this five by seven stamping plate. So this is a great um, tool for when you want to do any kind of mirror stamping. So you might have an image of a giraffe or something which is facing to the right, but you want it to face to the left then this is the tool that you would need to do that. And you can get some lovely effects with mirror stamping. You can also do some um, more mixed media techniques on this as well, but it's just a lovely tool. It will fit into your stamping platform. But if you don't have a stamping platform, you can use it without as well. You just have to help hold it or put it onto one of your large acrylic blocks if you've got that. But yeah, you can get some lovely effects with this. So I'm really glad that they've got their own one now in the um, Creative Craft products. And it's a good size as well, because it's gonna cover most of your stamp sizes. Then we've got some shaker cups. So if you like to make shaker cards, but with more 3D shaker elements, because most of the time you would use sequins or just the flat kind of discs. So things things that are flat that are going to be able to shake around just within the width of the foam that you use. Whereas these here are dimensional cups. So I'm looking there, let's just see on the side. It's about half an inch. So that's really good. So you could have actual stamped images in there moving around. Little beads could go in there. You could build up a snow scene and have all the faux snow so it settles and then have like little houses and, and things like that. So yeah, again, very useful. And you, that would just fit around a circle die. And they have lots of nesting dies. I'm gonna show you um, an example in a moment, but you get a pack of five there and they're three and a half diameter. Yeah. So again, you're gonna see those getting used um probably like i said for christmas time you could also i reckon if you sealed it properly you could put a liquid in there i'm thinking like gel or even water colored water and do some like underwater scenes and stuff because i've done that before i've got my um water filled cards and gel filled cards so it'd be interesting to try and um see if i get a good seal on that and actually put some liquids in so I just mentioned then about the nesting dies. So Creative Craft Products have a fantastic selection of nested dies at really good prices. These, if you like to make big cards, which let's face it, most of us in the UK we do, especially myself, then you're going to love these dies. And especially if you're starting off, as I mention a lot, if you're, you know, a seasoned crafter and you've already got a lot of this, don't need to go and buy more. But if you're brand new to crafting and you have no nesting dies, then the Creative Craft Products, I think, are going to be a good place to start. So the largest die here, it does say there, is, but it's in mil. I like to work in Imperial, so... You're looking just under eight inches there for that largest. Yeah, if I go from the, the dip, then it's about seven and three quarters. But from the, yeah, the outer part there, it's just under eight inches by just under seven. It's about six and three quarters. So a lovely size there. So that already there is your card base. And then you've got all the lovely mats and layers there. And then if you just want to have a nice sentiment framed, you could stamp a small sentiment in that one or the next one. And then you've got your, you know, your framed in the next size up in a different color and stuff. So you get 10 dies there, but this is just one example. Go and have a look, because like I said, if you're not into the scallop shape, then there might be some other ones there that you prefer. This is another example of some dies they have. So this is the Slimline and DL Nestables. So I'll just take these out to show you. So you can see there, if you like your stitch dies, now I don't have anything like this for DL size. So this for me was brilliant. So this is how they come. I like to then put them onto my magnetic plate that way I can count when I've finished that, I've, you know, and I've got all the ones that I should have. So that's them all laid out there. Largest ones coming in at just over eight, the smallest ones just under five and a half in length. Yeah, so really handy just to cut maybe a thin sentiment that you might have. But again, if you like to, um, you know, have the mats and layers kind of done for you, then things like this are going to work really well. So they're kind of like when people message me and say, you know, what are the basics that I should start off with? I always say, get yourself some good nesting dies and they should last you forever you know if you get maybe a variety of sizes i've got a lot of smaller ones a lot of small circles so i want bigger circles now and um you know then that's it then they're kind of going to last unless you get them caught in your dime machine there's no reason why those shouldn't last you forever so just another example there another thing they've started to do are these kind of sentiment and die combos 
So this is the ultimate ribbon sentiments. So I'm actually going to cut into these now because I can then get this all filed away. So you get your dies to match. So you've got there. Thank you with sympathy. You are amazing. Thinking of you and good luck. Now, those would be really awkward to cut. And sometimes if you cut, you know, just a straight piece for me, I don't like then I've got a lot of white space. So these here will hug the letter so you've got let's just get these out here you can have it it's really good actually you've kind of got three ways so there's the die to cut the thank you you can see it hugs really closely to that one there then if you don't want to use the stamps they've given you the thank you in a die form as well so this is where i'm saying about die cutting my sentiments with the foam you could put that now onto your foam sheet, so right along the bottom there, because I want to get as much on my foam sheets as possible. Run that through, then die cut that again in maybe a mirrored card. You'd peel off the top piece, stick the mirrored on top, and then peel off the back end and stick it onto your card. And then you've got your, you know, your shadow die there for your frame as well. And you could always trim off the ribbon as well. You could very easy, just trim just right up to the, the end of the the U there, and then almost right up to the the T, so then that completely changes. So if you, but if you take that, you know, as close as you can, then I think it makes it a bit more generic. Then you could use it on masculine cards and things like that as well. You will be seeing all of this used in due course, but I think they're really good. And these aren't the only sentiments they do. I believe they have, um, you know, some other sets of occasions as well. So again, check it out. Then I've got this one here, which is the A6 envelope maker die set. Now they do other sizes as well. I think they've got six by six and five by seven. So I've just taken everything out here so you can see so you've got your main dies there to be able to make up the envelopes. But then you get all these pieces to decorate. So, you know, if you get your pattern papers out, you can start to decorate the flap there. So you can see that that fits perfectly in there. And then you've got this one, which I guess could be for the sides. Oh, it can go down here. Or maybe that one's there. I mean, you can see how they've done them all here. They either cut away or you can layer them up. Get your tags. And you've got some little flourishes there as well. And even these are lovely. Just to add some decoration on the back. Yeah, really, really cute. There's the flower there. And then all the frames. So if you like to make A6 size or 5 by 7 6 by 6 like I said, I'm sure they're on there as well. And you just always struggle or just hate making the envelopes, then this will do it for you. And you get all those little extras in there as well. That's a nice one because that one cuts into the card. You can see there they just pop them on the sides. Don't make many A6 cards, so you might not see this one get used. But I'm going to show it to you anyway, and then I'm going to have a look at the, the larger size ones. Okay, then we're on to the fun stuff. So these are the tools. So they've sent me the scoreboard. Now, you know, I love my hunky dory one. Rave about it all the time. And I did make a joke to my boss and I said, it's going to take a lot to um, change my mind. <laughs> so I'm very honest. I want this is, you know, I'm not go now going to say, oh, you've got to get this one. It's the best. It's a nice scoreboard because I know already a lot of the co-branders use it. And I know Lou uses it all the time. So... And I know that not everybody likes the hunky dory one that I have. So it's good to show a variety. So you can see this one here. So it's not, it's the first time I've actually, you know, held it and had it in my hands because I've always seen people using it. So I've just closed my blinds because the sun's starting to shine through. It's really nice. It's the first time, I, like I said, I've actually held it and, and seen this one. So you have one thing that does stand out, which the hunky dory one to me does lack. And we've mentioned it a lot in my lives. The numbers on that one, on the Hungry Dory one, are the same colour plastic. So it's, it can be hard to see them. Whereas here, you know, they're nice and black. They are printed on top. So I'm hoping that that would, you know, wear well. But you've got all your Imperial along the top and all down the side. And then you've got centimetres running down here and here. I mean, I guess you could use it th this way. But obviously, the numbers are running backwards. So you've got 30 there, but it's an option but the nice thing about this as well is it also is an envelope maker so you've got your stylus at the back there i actually like that it's concealed and it has a proper little kind of holder because i've had some in the past and you clip them in here or 
on the sides and they just pop out um, and it can be frustrating but this one is nice and strong in there and then you've got this that slides out and then to be honest I've never used this way of making an envelope but you pop it in here and then it gives you all of the the directions there on how to use it and you've got measurements and stuff on the back oh you can actually make a gift box as well but I know on the Craft Stash Facebook page, and I think it's Lou, she's done tutorials showing you how to use, you know, this piece to uh, to make your envelopes and stuff. So, you know, a very, very handy tool. And um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be lots of you that enjoy it. Let me know if you've already got this one and what you think. Because like I said, I've not used it, but it will go with my other ones and um, I will give it a go. <laughs> because that, right now there's nothing not to like about it it's just down to personal preference I think a lot of the time with school boards so but yeah that's the creative craft products one that they have on the market then they've sent me the stamp platform this is what I'm very excited about and here it is I've taken it all out of the plastic so there's none of that rustling so the thing I love about this one is they already have the magnets in their own little holder because so if you see me in my past videos i have my magnets wrapped around some washi tape which is working fine and i can pick it up but this is obviously going to last you know a lot longer and you get four as well so i would pop two away keep them as spares because i only ever need two um, but that's really handy and then one thing i did notice let me just leave them in there for a minute is it's so yeah so this one has a spring so whether you've got a foam mounted stamp or you've got your clear acrylic photopolymer stamps this will is universal so it's going to work for both of them so you just you know lay your paper and your stamped image on here and then when you push this across you then just push down and it will pick up the the um the stamp and then you just ink it as normal so that's really nice now there is measurements down here and here but these are obviously in the same cream but a little tip that you can do with this is you can get some black acrylic paint on your finger and rub it over and then wipe it off and all you will get left is the the black where it's settled in all of the grooves yeah just make it easier for you to see it it feels very good quality i must admit it feels lovely it's just solid it's all together there it's magnetic obviously you can see that with the the magnets there but it does feel really nice see i always usually you know will then use my little buddy here my little tool to help get a nice even pressure but because it's got that movement i think it's it feels i don't feel like i'm gonna have to push so hard so we'll see but i'm gonna be using this a lot so i'll be giving it a real good kind of test and these all move so they're all spring you see there it's a really nice quality um stamping platform so I'm, I'm very impressed with this one i think it's lovely so yeah there you go so you get here it says here normal status and then press down status uh, make sure i've gone through everything here perfect for re-inking full coverage layering stamps design da, 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 da. spring hinge design for various thicknesses of stamps from 2.3 mil to 8.5 mil and then you've got your instructions there showing you how to use it but these are you know if you if you do a lot of stamping, you need to get a stamping platform. There's, you know, there's a few on the market now. Um, I wouldn't be without one. You know, they are very, very handy. But yeah, very excited. I love it when you get a new tool that you, you look, you know, you really like the look of. And um, yeah, looking forward to trying this one. Then I've been sent the trimmer. So this one here is the cut and score trimmer. Now, when I very first got into card making, this is the kind of thing that I had. So they do have a purpose and I know lots of people still enjoy using them. I The one that I have now, which I used to use all the time, but now I use guillotines. I really love using the um, rotary cutter that I have and the small desk trimmer. But these ones, um, the old one that I've got, I use for cutting my grey board. I wouldn't obviously recommend doing that with these. These are brand new blades and they do sell the replacement blades online. But what they have here is one is a blade and one is a scoring tool. So you've got like a holding station at the bottom there. So if you want to just use your cutter, then you can cut all the way down. If you don't want to use the cutter, push that one away and then bring your scoring tool up. Hopefully I'm all in shot here. And then you would then score. So you can see they've got like little holding stations at the top and the bottom. And then you've got your arm extender. So this one extends up to 17 inches. So you can see there, you've got a lot 
you know, room there. So your A3 cards and things like that. So you've got inches and centimetres running along the top there, and then you've got inches and centimetres running along the bottom. Now there is a film over this, because I was looking at it thinking, I hope that's not the finish, but it's not. There's a film. So if you're someone that likes to keep the films on, then do so. I don't. It's like with anything. New TV, microwave, I have to remove it. Remote controls drives me insane. So just take that off. I'll do it here now. Because I think sometimes we're scared to remove it because we think it is actually going to remove all of the you know the markings there but it's not it's just there as a protector so it is optional but it is meant to be removed and there we go so we've got that lovely even shinier now and then that all sits so that slides yes yeah, so it's got a little bit of slides into there and then what we've got on the back anything no so yeah nice compact one you know lots of people like to have their trimmers um, let's just do a quick, a quick little cut, actually, just to see. So that's the embossing one. So let's cut a six, six inch. Just do it that way, actually. I'll make a, I'll do five and three, five and seven eighths, and I can make a card blank. Very easy to cut, and it's a nice, smooth cut. There we go. And then if we score now, so, oh, they do come out. There is a little area there. Yeah, I thought there was. So you can, if you just want to keep it as a scoreboard, then you could pop your cutting one, for example, to one side. So then I'm going to score, so five and seven eighths. And now, see, I've got my score line and just fold and burnish. So I've just made my card blank there. But yeah, just down here, you'll feel it. And it will either fall out like that one did or you just kind of clip it out so if you did maybe you don't want to have this as a scoreboard you just want to keep it as a trimmer then you just have to yeah clip it in and then you just keep that one in there so you know multiple uses it's a really nice nice tool like the colors like you can see everything really clear and you can hang it up as well if you would prefer Depending on the space, maybe you've got a pegboard, you know, it's going to sit nicely there on your pegboard as well. They've also got some paper pads. This is actually for your envelopes. It's 120 GSM. 120 to 150 GSM is always good for your envelopes. Just take it out of the plastic there and you can see all those lovely designs. And it's perfect as well for any origami makes. So if you're doing any kind of folding, this would look lovely for the recent bouquet, pop-up bouquet or pop-up flowers card that I made. This would actually be perfect. Um, I think that would work really nice together as well. So you've got some wonderful designs there. I've also then got these. Now this is all under the brand Craft Stash, but the Craft Stash brand is now becoming the Creative Craft product. So you will see the packaging changing on these things, but I just wanted to include them as well. So I already have, um, I think this, I already have all of this. Um, and then these are the extras that they've sent so you've got your blending sponges because you know there are so many different ways to blend and each way gives you a different effect so like the blending brushes give you a softer more I guess um, consistent coverage sponges and things like your blending tools give you a more intense darker coverage and then things like this as well which are the foam um, little fingered sponge daubers they're great for using on stencils and if you just want to get into more detailed areas so depending on what you enjoy, if you like to do a bit of everything, then you'll you know want to try a bit of everything. But if you've got your favourites, then, you know, they've got those um, here to offer. So you get nine pack of the blending sponges there. Anti-static bag can't be without this if you like to do your heat embossing. It's your kind of number one tool that you need for that, along with the heat gun, obviously. But you need to be preparing the surface to remove any static, sticky marks, things like that. So... You know, you should always have one of those in your stash. The tidy tray with the dividers. So, you know, if you do a lot of maybe shaker cards, things with beads, um, just maybe you've got a lot of die cuts, you can pop them in here. It's also good for glitter. But because of the dividers here, I think it's quite a handy little kind of organiser just to have on your desk when you're maybe working through projects with, you know, lots of little detail pieces. You can store it in there. But then if you have got something that you want to then decant back into the bottle, at the end here, it's got a little... But, um little cap and just pop that off and then you'll be able to tip out you know whatever it is that you've got in there so that's your little tray 
divider there. The, the daubers, you've got the triangular ones there and you've got your circle daubers. A lot of people with dexterity problems, you know, maybe struggle with grip, have actually said that they prefer a triangular shaped one. So you can pop your finger in them, um, which is why they've got finger sponge daubers. But also, if you want something that's a bit easier to grip, we've heard that a lot of people have said that the triangular ones are really, really good for that. So hopefully it's going to help there as well. And it says here... Um, for fine detail and comfort and it's in that nice little tray and I pull this one out you know quite a lot when I'm doing more detailed kind of maybe stamping or stenciling um I've already got it now I try to keep it so that I've got maybe two for each color so I've got one for like a light yellow one for a dark yellow and then light green dark green so on. you got your ink blending tool here so you get two in a pack with two so four um sponges there as well lots of people that have you know a set of inks will use a little bit of hook and loop and pop the corresponding little sponge underneath the ink pad and then just keep you know a few of these at hand and then when they want to use say a purple they take out the ink pad and underneath is the sponge and then they can just pop it onto their blending tool and they're ready to go so a two pack there then you've got your three rolls here of your red high tack double-sided tape so it's again one of those kind of must-haves really to have in your stash if you're a card maker it's great for using on acetate and just when you want that really strong adhesion then this is you know a good shout if you don't like to use your liquid glues and then there's also this double-sided white tape as well which is great for mats and layers and things like that so just again it's all down to what you prefer it's just to show you just the variety like i said i was at head office and hearing the future plans and stuff was really exciting so there's lots coming so I've also been sent these bits here. So Craft Stash are really well known for working with charities and also working with other like, things like, for example, Raymond Briggs, The Snowman and The Father Christmas. I loved using those. We've got Wallace and Gromit. We've seen that pop up. Um, what other ones? There's, there's so many different illustrators, lots and lots of licensed products you would have seen Craft Stash use, whether it's across the magazine subscriptions to like the free gifts and things like that or to things like this here. So this one here is with Mental Health UK. So this is a colouring book. Then we've got the RSPB birds here. And then this one here is one of the collections that they have under the Creative Craft products. So there is a eight by eight pad. There's also a stamp and die set that matches this as well. And I'm so glad I've got this one. So I've seen it for a while, but obviously I've had lots of other things going on. I've got my own papers now, but I adore this one. I think it's beautiful. And I'll show you some of the papers close up in a minute. Again, with this one, it's stunning. Perfect time of year now for this one. Spring Garden Birds. Now that I believe there is a topper set. Oh no, it comes. Oh no, this is obviously all together because it says here four pattern papers and two topper sheets. So they're all ready to go. But this was also not this one, but they did do a collaboration with one of the magazines as well. So there would have been. I think that's what I was getting confused with. But um, really lovely. Then this is really fun. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work yet. I need to have a play around. But these here, so you get one two three four you get five i guess kind of pads and this is your honeycomb so if i just open it up here this is awesome but i need to know how to use it i'm thinking die cut in a circle and then doing something or a semicircle. i mean i've never seen i've never had anything like this i think that is absolutely amazing so this is going to be featured in a fun fold card i'm gonna yeah i don't know it's got a trying to work out what the smell is not bad at all but I, I did get a kind of an odor as I took it out of the packaging I guess it's the way it's all compressed it's almost a bit floral which is nice <laughs> but um yeah I think that is absolutely amazing so it's honeycomb paper look at the yellow I mean if you've done a bee theme let's just do this one here I'm very excited about this <laughs> look at this I mean let me know if you've had this before because I never have so I'm very excited for that one. So yeah, watch this space because I want to do a really fun kind of card with that one. And then you've got here the Mental Health UK and this is the colouring pad. But this is also wonderful for card making because you could have it just as the black and white colours or you can then colour yourself. So it's 190 GSM. It's an A4 pad and 190 GSM, which I think I said. But look at that. If you love doing your colouring or just want to frame something, that would look lovely. That's gorgeous. I wonder if it takes alcohol markers. I imagine it is going to work. What I would do is back, put something behind here 
so it doesn't obviously bleed through it shouldn't do but it, there is that risk of it might because obviously people are going to use different mediums to color never ever give up that's pretty you got this so yeah coloring is known it's been you know really popular over the last few years for mindfulness relaxation help with anxiety that's why I love colouring so much because it is, it's so soothing for me. It's kind of my happy place when I colour. So yeah, there's that one as well. Really, really lovely. And then lastly, they just gave us a selection of paper pads from the other co-branders. So, I mean, I've already been supporting the other co-branders for a long time. You would have seen me use products from Paper Discovery, Card Making Magic, Daisy May, Simply May Crafts. But I must confess nothing by our lovely Lou so I'm very pleased to have a couple of her paper pads so these ones here are A5 and this is her art deco paper pad so you can see the designs there really nice oh I, I did say I was going to show close-ups of the field of dreams I'll pull that one back out in a minute but this one oh if you've just got that recent um peacock free stamp set from simply cards and papercraft that I done the elegant easel block card with how gorgeous are those papers going to be and she's got a whole collection peacock plume collection i think it was um so she's got lots that will obviously coordinate with this as well but that is stunning that one there and that one are absolutely gorgeous so excited to have those and then the lovely olga i have three pads here again a5 she's got moroccan knights paper pad love this one looks like a quilt i think that's really nice this one here is your yeah, I can't see a name for that one, but beautiful designs there. You've got the clog shoes. You've got like your mosaic tiles, the windmill. You've got the tulips there. And then you've got all the houses. So yeah, really nice. It's the, the Netherlands, isn't it? All of this, the fields of tulips and everything. I think that's lovely, really nice. And then this one here, and I actually need some baby papers because I'm doing a few bits for hamper. So this has come at the perfect time. So this is the Nursery Backgrounds paper pad. This one I really like. And then the hot air blooms. What's the other one? There's another one there. So we've got, yeah, that one. It's got a little bit of the Around the World in 80 Days feel to it as well. I like that one. That's really pretty. That's the one. I think that's so cute. Um, and that one's really sweet. I like that. You can cut it in half. Depending on what it is you want to do. This one here. You've got the little train bucket and spade yeah really cute so I would definitely be pulling some of those out to use then I've got this one card making magic so this is the pretty book backgrounds let's have a proper look so we've got pretty corners there so you can either cut into them or stick that right onto an eight by eight card blank the green flowers some script that's pretty because you've got some like toppers there as well. So you can cut those out with your dies. Just cut that and have it as a nice border. I need to go from this way because these are all loose pieces. There we go. I think that was all of them actually. Oh, that one as well. That's lovely. That's really nice. I like that one a lot. So again, you'll see these popping up in cards over the coming months. This one I don't have. So I do already have a few of Daisy May's lovely paper pads but not this one and it's got my kind of colours again here so let's go from the back so it's easier to flick through here so we've got this one the stripes that's lovely it's a bit like a quilt quilt effect with the hearts pretty there that's nice as well that plaid effect and then you've got that one and then back again to the beginning so just some nice background papers there and then we've got this one here this is bright so this one is a simply made crafts What's the name for this one? Gerbera. Oh, this is when she done all those big flowers. Actually, this is perfect for the sunflowers. Those dies in the Papercraft Society kit. So sometimes it's nice to just have the papers. And these have got a sh Oh, they're pearlescent. Oh, yeah, pearlescent paper pad. Oh, nice. That one there. Yeah, look at this. It's going to be so nice. Do you know what? I think the front, you almost want it to be shiny because it almost doesn't give it justice. But imagine that with the sunflower leaves cut into it. That's going to be stunning. And then you've got your ones for your leaves. Christmas time. Oh, it's really nice. 
yeah i didn't realize it was pearlescent i know it says it on the front but let's face it do we read everything because i know i don't <laughs> we miss the most you know important obvious bits this is really nice i'm actually yeah i'm surprised with that one so that one's the simply May crafts gerbera pearlescent paper pad and then this one i love gorgeous papers here let's take this one out so we've got paper dots you've got the leaves and you've got pretty little daisies there checked i actually had the checked from similar smaller in the daisy may pad and i pretty much used it all um it's a great one for um for backgrounds with like floral designs and stuff again pretty daisies that's lovely really like the navy with the pink there my kind of pink stripes pretty really nice that one and then back to the polka dots again and that one is 250 gsm so it's a nice construction weight helen's known for her you know mini albums and her 3d projects so that's going to hold up really well for some nice gift bags and i'm doing my mother's day series at the moment so i can see a lovely gift bag in this one here mm, that's a nice idea so there we go so i think that's everything so there was a lot to show you, but I just wanted it to just be maybe more of an introduction to those of you that maybe don't know about creative craft products, maybe craft stash. You might be new to the channel and you're looking for, you know, a really good online crafts uh, store. Check out craft stash. They have a lot. They don't just have their own brands, which is what I focused on today. They stock all brands. So you've got your Sizzix, you've got Tonic, Crafters Companion, you've got lots and lots of um you know, different arts and crafts mediums and things like that. There is a heap of stuff on there. You've got all your magazine kind of subscriptions, the Paper Craft Society. There is so much information on there. And that's also linked to Craft World, where there's a lot of inspiration um, shared. And uh, you can get all the links to their YouTube channels and stuff like that. So there is so much there. But hopefully this is you know, help some of you, maybe surprise some of you, didn't realise just how much they have. And I'm excited for this honeycomb stuff and the stamping platform. Um, these I really like and the paper pad. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> I get so excited that I forget things. So let's just have a quick look through this because it's gorgeous. I want to get the eight by eight pad as well. I think I'm going to use them a lot. And the fact they've got the toppers as well. So filled a dream, six by six paper pad, 24 sheets. It's 190 GSM. So it's a nice a nice weight and you've got so here's your toppers so if you like those things that are already done for you then you've got that here and then you've got that lovely water kind of um color background i'll just flick through here you've got some more topper sheets there so you imagine if the eight you got the eight by eight pad then they're obviously going to be enlarged pretty poppies there with the bees I like to make cards for Remembrance Day, maybe for charity. And this is going to be a lovely set. Really nice to cut and then stamp your sentiments. Like I said, they do have the stamp and dies to go with this. So if I remember, I'll link those all together. Pretty one there. Love that one with the white. You know, you can die cut a circle and then use this on like your box cards. And you can maybe have the bumblebee kind of spinning or something. Put that one there. Really nice. And I'm sure it's Kat who's designed this, who I'm friends with. Um, Kat, if you see this, it's beautiful. Really, really lovely what you've done here. And then it repeats again. So there we go. As promised, that's just a little peek into the field of dreams there. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you've already got. Let me know if you're thinking of getting anything. I think the stamping platform is definitely going to be a bit of a winner. I think it's lovely. If you're looking at getting a new one or you've never had one before, I don't think you'd be disappointed with that one. I think it's really nice. This will all be linked below. If for, if for any reason something isn't linked, it was because it's sold out or it's not available. I'm sure this is all on there, so I, I, I should be able to link it all because I know they've sent us stuff for that reason, you know, that it is available. And the whole point is to kind of shout about Craft Stash and, um, you know, Creative Craft Products. So thank you for watching as always. And I'll be back very soon with fun tutorials using this product and lots of product that I already have. Take care, everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Hello, it's me again. So if you're still here, thank you for watching to the end. So I thought I would do a little hidden giveaway. I've already got this product. So as I mentioned during that video, there's a lot of this that I did share before and a couple of bits here that I'm not going to use and I see it as being just silly to keep it. I'd rather it go to someone that will enjoy it. So 
we've got the blending brushes here and the colouring in. I already have a lot of colouring in pads and I love my colouring of stamped images. So that's kind of where I get my fix. But the rest of this here I already have. I use, I've got the daubers here. This one's brilliant, really lovely to have them all compact together there. And I think you're really going to love all of this here and the foam shims there as well. So it's very easy. All you have to do is comment hashtag creative craft products. Don't write anything else. Don't write anything about hidden giveaway. No mention. Oh, Sam, I hope I win. Just put hashtag creative craft products. That simple hashtag are the ones that will go into the giveaway draw. It's going to be for 24 hours from when this video goes live. I will then use the random generator to generate and find the winner. And I will announce it on a very short um I won't put it up as a video, it'll go up as a community post. So if you go to my community tab on my YouTube channel, you'll see it there. And I will also announce it on my Facebook page as well in case people are there. You have to be over 18, you have to be subscribed and you have to be a UK resident. I can't send this internationally, unfortunately. So yeah, simple. Just comment with the hashtag creative craft products. Just this one, just here. I hope it's not glare. There we go. That's all you need to do. And I will choose a winner. So good luck to everybody. And like I said, it's worthwhile staying to the end sometimes. Take care. See you soon. Bye.